Alright guys, English Models SP here again with another unboxing video, this time of a, um, well, the pretty, pretty old, I mean, I got it, I got it with the Alaskan Horizon Gemini 200, which was one of my, which was, um, one of my first, um, videos I showed you, so yeah, the Alaskan Airlines, um, Dash 8, which was about 2000, sorry, less than about 2000 baht, which is close to, close to a good 40 quid. So, yeah, it was, I had some money left over for that, and I thought, oh, there's going to be something else I can buy, because I don't like having left over money when I'm at the um, aircraft shop. So, yeah, I've got the um, Airbus A3 3200 XL Airways in France. Now, I believe the other Airbus, uh, XL Airways, it goes to another country, but I've forgotten now. I think it's. Oh, damn it. You'll have to correct me for this, but I'm guessing it's either Germany, Belgium, um, uh, either Germany or Belgium. One of those. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, so. Because uh, I probably am. Um, anyway, this is not your typical Hogan Wings box. I mean, in my. Shop in Exeter, they had the um, Globemaster by Hogan, and it was a massive thing. It was like the Gemini 200 747 SP box. Not sure if it was metal, might have been, but it was, it but it could have been plastic, I'm not sure. Anyway, got this for 1,290 baht, it says there. Um, that is 28, plus 28 pounds. Yes, yeah, so I got this on. The twentieth of the third, two thousand twelve. Um. Um. Yeah. So, let's get down to the unboxing. Yeah. So this is, is an, uh, as I told you before, the uh, typical box. You got the wings. You got the wings there. So in the packaging. Nose. Don't know what they're doing with this, but there's there's the nose. So this package. I've unboxed this before like three, four times. So, you know, um, stand, standing gear from there, and that's it, and the instructions are there. So, yeah, um, I think the tail, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the tail wings and the, the tail is in there, and the tail wings, I'm assuming, are somewhere down here. Don't know where the tail wings are, damn it. Um, not good. Um. Oh, found them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um. And anyway, yeah, so here's the plinth stand, whatever you call it. Um. Yeah, the fact you bothered to put the XL low is trans A3 3200 on there. Yay. Um. Let's get the, let's get this out really carefully. Because I do not want to wreck. Do not want to wreck this aircraft. There's more on the move, moving it almost every time. Yeah, so I've, as usual, I think Herpa aren't compared to Hogan are really bad company for wanting good aircraft. I mean, I mean Hogan are a smaller company than Herpa, and they get everything right. Everyone um, buys Herpa more than so everyone buys Hogan more than Herpa. So. So yeah, um, except for the 1500 aircraft, I think everyone goes for home for Worm um, Harper for that one, since they're the best seller. Tail and things, um, yeah, part of the tail broke off about there, but it doesn't really matter. If you're falling backwards there, I'm not even sure where it goes. Um, I'm assuming this goes forward like that. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, so when I got the model, this came, this was a sort of blue bit of paint which I really hate, don't like it. I've tried, really tried scratching it off but don't seem to be making a dent in that at all. So it's a bit of a bit of an annoying feature to the aircraft. Um, no, wrong way. But yeah, the annoying thing is it has to be the right way up and the right way up points towards the uh, thingy.
spring of school months. Then four more years of hard grass snapping. So yeah, the A330 has the same notes as an A340. A390, A380, 19, 20 and 21 have the same notice, all of them. Um, this is the same with A300, A310, A330 and A340 have the same notice. Um, A380, completely different story. <laughs> this one is a massive different story. Um, A350, the nose has just been made and, I mean the aircraft has just been made, it's had the um, test run on the ground. Flying, not sure, you'll have to tell me. Um, but yeah, that's all I know up for the minute. There's the gear, the gear were pretty simple to put on. Last time I checked, so put that there. Yeah, not very, not exactly the best with um planes. I mean, putting planes together because my camera's really crap. But if you really, if you really like um people putting planes together, I would definitely recommend Fly Guy D Delta, sorry, Fly Guy Delta Seven Thirty Seven. He makes the best videos for those. So there we go. There we are. So Airways A330 200. Let's give you some features. It's just a massive blue engine, um, landing gear on the side. You've got a set of four, set of four um, wheels on either side. Add up to ten, as most of you know. Um, Hogan at the bottom there. XL. The main, the paint job on this is brilliant. It is phenomenal, except for that bit there. Don't know why that's there. Um, outside just blue, and it just says XL on there. So yeah, that's I think that's every detail I spotted on there. And uh if you want to see the little red dot, there it is. And registration almost we've got F G S E U. Um yeah. I'm not sure I forgot what other aircraft on Excel um consist of, but it was a smaller, smaller aircraft, please, please tell me I forget quite a lot. Um anyway that's pretty much it. For today, um, if you want to see it, well, landing gear, well, like it, it is unbelievable. The roll was very well. So yeah, um, they've made a very accurate model of this. I definitely recommend getting this. It's a very cheap model, and yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and look out for my collection video, which will be might be in a couple weeks, seconds. Really like um, yeah, so, yeah, comment, subscribe, thank you.